This past weekend, Back in Blood 7 happened in Portland, Oregon. And while it wasn't the largest tournament to happen in the continent of North America, it was the largest tournament in the country, America, this past weekend. But when you're competing with Gommel and, you know, Japan in general, Back in Blood 7 was definitely the biggest tourney to happen this past weekend from America, and it had a lot of great players from across America come to attend. We had names like Louie Money, Skittles, Send, Jojo DeHobo, and even more all come out to Oregon to compete in the bloodbath of Back in Blood 7. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start out with our loser's 8th sets, those being MFA vs JDV and Smirk vs Jared is King 1. The only one of these players that we've covered before is Smirk, so let's start with him vs Jared is King 1. Smirk, like I just mentioned, is a player we discussed in our high res video, who came into Back in Blood 7 as the 11th seed, starting off the weekend by making it through pools without dropping a single game, headed into top 32, where Smirk had a close game 5 set with Charlie D, managing to edge it out in the end. Here, Smirk had to go up into winner's quarters, the top 8 qualifier, against Send. And there is in a uh oh, oh that puts Smirk okay. in the bad stage, but Smirk is straight back into the stage, and that oh, no. right there. <laughs> Smirk is now Unfortunately for Smirk, he would lose 3-1 against Send, falling down into Losers, where he defeated Sticky 3-0 and made it up into Loser's side top 8 to face off against Jared is King 1. Jared is King 1, if you didn't know, is the most well-known NA Shulk player, though clearly not the best one, which you'd know if you'd seen this totally serious, not a joke at all video that I just happened to upload on the 1st of April by pure coincidence. Jared is King 1 came into the event as the 8th seed and started off the weekend by winning his first two sets in 3 0s before going up against Temporary Plan to make it out of pools. Conversion from it, yep. Oh, but oh, it doesn't no, even matter. Oh, yes! Temporary and Plan Barry. taking it over Jared is King, oh making God. it to winner side top 32. Dude, what a nasty pool set. Great stuff for both. Unfortunately, Jared lost a Temporary Plan in a game 5 upset loss, being sent down into losers extremely early. After getting one more 3-0 to escape pools, Jared started top 32 in loser's side, but proceeded to make the loser's run, first defeating Kisu 3-1 and Spade in a game 5 set, before going on to impressively 3-0 both Viola and Jaja Jaja. You all likely know who Jaja Jaja is, but Viola is a player who we covered in this video here if you didn't know her. She plays Meta Knight and is my personal pick for favorite NA Meta Knight. Either way though, Jared made it into the top 8 loser's side, going up against Smirk. Gotta be careful though, that upper does have two hits. Happened to be out of range of the first hit, but died at a pretty decent percent, but I think being smash guard kind of increased that not that for sure. Ooh, goes for the... I, I don't know if, if anyone saw the Charlie D set in chat, but we saw him end that stock within seconds. <laughs> oh, going super low. Jared is always so comfortable. Game looking much better for Smirk so far, but Jared very rapidly working the percent back into his favor. Jump art, crazy aerial mobility. <laughs> the amount of ledge guarding you were able to do. Oh goodness, not quite able to make it. You made it bad that time, so he probably knew, like, okay, this might not kill. Okay, and the back air is going to take it, Jared. That might be... Okay, you did have Tatsumaki, oh. but no jump to follow up. A little unfortunate there. Goes... Yeah, Smirk is... Oh, oh no! Oh. Really unfortunate SD That's from tough. Smirk. Still has two stocks to burn through. He's at 106%. There you go. The timing on that one, that. not as good as the first time. Jared would end up taking the set in a clean 3 up Moving on in bracket and eliminating Smirk at 7th. Now let's pivot over to our other loser's 8th set, JDV versus MFA, the battle between two players whose tags are both three letters. That just rolls right off the tongue, you know? JDV came into the event as the 4th seed, starting off the weekend by making it through pools without dropping a game. Now in top 32, JDV got one more 3-0 set win before going up in winner's quarterfinals, the top 8 qualifier, against Monty. It's not sore. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Not, oh no! Not oh, like that. no. After unfortunately losing that set 3-1, JDV dropped down into losers and fought his second Game & Watch player in a row, defeating Bombastic 3-1 in order to make top 8 losers side versus MFA. MFA came into the event as the ninth seed, starting off the weekend by, say it with me folks, making through pools without dropping a game, notably though defeating Viola on the way out. 
Now in top 32, MFA had a close game 5 call with temporary plan. The player who defeated Jared is king 1 in pools, though MFA was able to clutch it out in the end. This meant that MFA went up in winner's quarters, the top 8 qualifier, against Chase. Set now tagged on to Chase at this point. This stock is very much in danger, but, but it won't matter! matter! And indubitably a domination from Chase. Unfortunately for MFA, they would lose to Chase 3-0, dropping down into losers where they defeated Jojo de Hobo impressively in a 3-1 in order to make losers side top 8 versus JDV. Endless projectiles at each other. <laughs> Olimar is significantly better character in singles than he is in doubles. That is for sure. It's, and it does the most damage when it's last on. Right. Oh, that should be dead. Yeah. yeah. Just barely. <laughs> Olimar is... Purple's the strongest, also the stubbiest. Ooh. Oh, wow. Throwing the Hydrant right back in JDV's face. This is relatively even. Wow. <laughs> Grabbing the Galaga mid-flight. Yeah, interesting ways. He's getting the uh, Pikmin off of him. Oh, oh, unfortunate. MFA not quite able to get damage with Pikmin Toss. Yeah, it's very, very slow game for all more, uh, especially when you're just playing the zoning game. Um, oh, oh, that was... Extremely dangerous for MFA. Never want to get clipped by that bell. Oh, and there it is again. Bell stays out of combo. Classic. Goes ahead and swats the Hydrant away, using these neutral airs to keep the Pikmin peeled off as much as possible. Oh my goodness. Super long lingering hitbox of the uh, rolling fire Hydrant. Not quite going to kill, but that bell so dangerous. MFA picked it up, but it was be impatient in order to deal with MFA's shenanigans. Oh, 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 wow, does the at does it always go at that angle? It goes it goes down like that, yeah. <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Almar up. JDV. Oh, there's the key. Oh that yeah. is gonna be it. Excellently timed bell for JDV. That's a MFA would lose to JDV 3-0, being eliminated at 7th, but allowing JDV to move on within the bracket. And like usual, before we can see how JDV and Jared do in losers, we have to move up into winner semifinals and talk about those sets first. Those sets being Chase vs. Monty and Louis Money vs. Send. Since we've mentioned Chase and Monty before already, let's start with that set. Chase came into the event as the first seed and started off the weekend by making it through pools, only dropping one game to fire the pyro on the way out. In top 32, Chase had a close call game 5 set against Biggie Mouth, but clutched it out in the end. After beating MFA 3-0, Chase went up in winner's semifinals against Monty. Monty came into the event as the 5th seed, starting off the weekend by making it through pools, only dropping one game on the way into top 32. In top 32, Monty beat Spade 3-0, before going up and beating JDV in winner's quarters. And now in winner's semis, Monty went up against Chase. Go to sleep till 3 a.m. last night. Hey, you, oh I watched you arrive in the Airbnb and you were Truly. exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, G. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, taking that first stock pretty pretty definitively there. Only taking 65. And you know the game watch is feeling himself when you get the kill with the name. Yes. Right. It's at like 180 plus. Like, I, I thought that, that was stock. just like you couldn't find the stock. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, for sure. But like if they're winning that hard, then they don't even need to like finish. Did he die? He spots so carefully here. He's getting ball after ball on his shield. Hanging in there though, barely alive. And now oh, oh, oh. reverse up B2. Yes, wow. sir. I'm right now Monty kind of farming Chase up a full stock <laughs> oh, right now. Yeah. Oh, this my is gosh. looking brutal. Maybe a little. Yeah, a little rough compared to last game too, honestly, where Chase was mounting a comeback and keeping it closer. Let's see though. Oh, oh my god, you're dead. Oh, not the time for that. Dead. Yeah, Nara, Chase a little bit of shield. It, it's this character oh. and it's Cloud who are so good you at it. Can't can't win, win, you see that? Just doesn't. Oh. That'll do it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Watch a little bit floatier, so not gonna die off the sides as early. But now, you know what, Monty? This gives him a. Oh well, never mind. It doesn't give him a chance. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Yeah, not much of it there. Chase not giving him a shred of hope. Yep. I'm trying to catch onto this lead so while I, he can. I'm pretty sure that's the first stock Whoa. lead that Chase oh, has had in this yeah, set, and it is going to go hard. Shout out to your only move is hustle. That's exactly what that is. Oh, actually. All right. Ooh, that's dash that's attack. Good. Hold up. Monty in a difficult spot here. Palo at ledge of the. No way! No way! Okay, he's alive for oh now, but God. oh, it's not You're enough. Not in the end, Monty would win the set against Chase 3 0. A good upset for the fifth seed against the first, sending Chase down into losers' quarters against Jared as King 1, and allowing Monty to move on into winners' finals. Moving over to the other side of semis, we have Louis Money versus Send. 
Louis Money came into the event as a second seed, starting off the weekend by making it through pools without dropping a game. In top 32, Louis Money beat Xavier 3-1 and Jaja Jaja in a game 5 set, going up in winner's semis. Send came into the event as a third seed, starting off the weekend by making it through pools, only dropping one game on the way out, as has been the pattern with our last few players. Out of pools, Sen defeated Jojo de Hobo in top 32 in a 3-0, and then beat Smirk 3-1 in winner's quarters, going into winner's semis against Louis Money. Every now and again, you see that twinkle in his eye, kind <laughs> of playing him awakened. So and so I'm hoping today we see that monster inside of Send reawaken. And so I'm really excited for this. Oh, yes. Send Luis the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> for some very brutal aggression, but at the same time, two homies, you know they play tons of friendlies. Oh. Not to mention bracket matches. Luis. Pop and just bring it through in game two, and we'll see it come through. But still has a chance at this game, too. Let's not count him out. Ness is brutal, and Send himself is disgusting. So Absolutely. Yeah. Luis doing a really good job of just hitting Send down, and ooh, that up air. Yeah, you're gone. Like, you're gone. You're yeah, gone. I love so that. That's, that's why he got it there. The option there from Louis Money just to, like, go for the pressure on Shield. Like, he could have easily got for a grab. Oh, my God! That was amazing. Brr. Really trying to pick his spots hard. <laughs> Well here, yeah. It's oh, very hard. Oh, that's it. Hard and well, and hard fought. That here, you're still vibing, but that. Look at the send right here. Looking for something. Oh, oh yes, yeah, you are free. dead. Free yeah, money right there. You're gone. You're gone. Now he's just Louis. No S. No money. Uh, no. Oh, 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 okay. You know what? I actually like. It that took one. me a lot of time. Yeah, to figure it, that it's. Out. A, you know, yeah. I do. You know I do. I, I do like <laughs> that one. And oh, even though it's a oh, 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 he's dead, dog. Let's see, though. He's teleported. Oh, he just gets hit, bro. Oh, he just gets hit. But it does matter. That's got to be it. That's the big brain. As well. just, you know, in the I end, Send would lose to Louis Money in a 3-0, being knocked down into loser's quarters against JDV and allowing Louis Money to go into winner's finals against Monty. But before we get to that, let's head down and see our loser's quarters sets, starting with Send versus JDV. Echelon. Oh, yeah. And so, you know what? He got MFA. MFA typically the apple because of the exact placement of the hydrant. Yep, that's gotta be so Ooh. cool to think about too. Coming from the Pac-Man player perspective, like, I just threw a hydrant down the middle of the stage. How can I turn this into the worst situation? Right? <laughs> exactly. Like, how can I ruin their day? It's exactly. beautiful to watch the trapping of it. Uh-oh, yeah. back though. Not oh, quite gonna be able to right. do it, but setting up into a horrible, wow, super armoring right through that. Oh, super armor, yes, but he's finding a couple openings here. A couple connect, but is that back here gonna be enough? The, the back oh, on the screen. Yeah, he's listening. Check, check the headphones. He's <laughs> listening to the stream. If you are listening, spot dark. Oh, 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 oh no! no. JDV needs a combo. He needs a he needs a long combo right now. He's done though. Oh no! You can't <laughs> leave me alone. You strange yellow man. Strange so yellow. Young man. Ooh, bounding. Hydrant with the orange, dude. The pop offs. With that hydrant, it's so good. Much oh, like, whoa. much like ending. <laughs> I'm 0-3 on references tonight. I missed uh, some of my efforts. It's all oh, good. Damn. I appreciate the attempt. Okay, here we go. JDV attempting to make it back oh! on stage, but that's not going to be. something big, and he needs it quick. And I mean, he has the rage to do it with. He just needs... He, again, Wait, he needs oh! this to be quick. Clutch parry from Sen right For now. Real? Back, he's oh, dead. The back back stage. Throw. You're gone. Matter, yeah. In yeah. the end, yeah. Sen would defeat JDV 3-0, allowing Sen to move into top four and eliminating JDV at fifth place. Pivoting over to the other losers' quarter set, we have Chase versus Jared is King one. For in a row. Oh my gosh. Uh, but, but flip the order. Uh, but I think Loki. Okay, imminent danger. Okay. Does the jump art back online? Good timing as we are now off stage. Nice, job. nice catch on the pull. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Pulls out the shield art, but just art coming right back up. God, that goes so high. The reaction on Chase on the jump in. That dash is just going to trample through everything. Jared looking to finish the stock as quick as he can. A couple of empty hops, and the dash attack is going to catch that landing. Take that kill. Going to gonna hop off commentary for just a little bit, or for good. Far games have been relatively close, but definitely in uh, Chase's favor in terms of dominance. Absolutely. Now that smash art online, and just like that, it is gone. Boy, you thought he 
even if he didn't have Smash Art up there, I think he probably still would have died. 80%, nearly full charge. Okay, getting it back though, real Earn that, that shield art. He knows he can't compete with it. Getting it. Okay, finally gets an up tilt in there. <laughs> he just died to speed art up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> that percent, it makes it. Drag down. down there. Oh. Clean. Chase would defeat Jared in a 3-0, allowing Chase to move into top four and wrapping up our top eight so far outside of our top four finishers, as well as naturally eliminating Jared at fifth. Next, we'll be going over to winner finals, Louis Money versus Monty, to decide who would be going into grand finals winner's side. Louis Money would defeat Monty in winner's finals in a 3-1 set, moving on into grand finals winner's side and sending Monty down into loser's finals. To find out who Monty would have to face, let's take a look at loser's semifinals, Chase versus Send. Post-quarantine loss, and then the next three, Chase has beat out Luis, and so, you know, question becomes, does that story keep following up where Chase, you know, seemingly drops the first set and brings it back to back to back, oh, and uh, that's oh. the second time Send is... You can't help but wonder what would have been if Send had another stock, right? Like, that was True. last stock, and all of a sudden, it is back to even. We've seen Send claw through worse already in this set alone, so, but Chase has not been giving him a thing for the past couple of minutes. This has been all Chase, there's no room for Send to Chase. Never mind, he missed the tag, he missed being ready for that down tilt two frame. Oh, oh, Living not being caught up by the Halo right there. And now Send has a second chance. No jump, no jump, no jump, no jump. No, 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 that's a yo-yo, Send steals that thing. It up. Literally, head. Woo. Ever chase like like hits those? I always go ooh. There's a little bit of that swag face. Go ooh, but, the, but like dirt face to get when you see it. I like think you every time just does it. No, like you have to. You have to. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you take every advantage you can. Um, I, I just want to point out back, uh, Dash Tag is the MVP of this match. He's gotten so many openings from that. Going low, barely catching the ledge. Oh, but the PK Thunder, oh. he realized he was... How he went ahead and backed up to bait the projectiles for a little bit of healing. So now Chase kind of forced the issue here. But, ooh, beautiful parry, but don't matter, Chase. Such good mobility and spacing to get that last stock right there. But, of course, the back air not killing clutches yet again. No jump. Oh, no but jump. that's so tough, and that will be it. The gimp with the neutral being hit. It's tough, auto reticle. You cannot move until it hits you back. That's tough. Chase falls it out, and that's a stock right there. Send it, get that stock right back with the nair. And back quite just get but what a turnaround from Sin. Now must do yo-yo the other direction, unfortunately, for Sin. Now we're back with another neutral mode where let's see which one gets in. Dash tech not working out as a big old shield from Hulk comes in comes out. Again the Oh no he's not even Oh my god! god what is he so oh, no, he's he's alive. Alive. Somehow makes it out of that! He's supposed to flame! Finally dies Dude. with that neutral air from Chase! Bro is just running it back to back. Oh, getting the stock. Okay, you took that stock first. I'm gonna take it straight back. We're back to even. It's like, okay, you got me, but I'm gonna get you back. <gasps> oh, and there's no Marty Dome when you don't have another stock to play with. In the end, Chase would defeat Send in a 3 1, allowing Chase to move on into Losers Finals and eliminating Send at fourth. This meant that Chase had to go up against Monty in Losers Finals, a run back from Winter Semifinals. If you remember that set, Monty had defeated Chase in a clean 3 0. 
this set would prove to be much closer. It's those roasts. Th those beans, they from Guatemala, organic, ethical. Dude, you can't get much better, can okay, you? Okay, I'm gonna hard call you out. That's a kill. You know, you. Oh, oh, I just, up, dude. My goodness, the hard call. With the roll over there, anything like that. However, kind of need to pull something out right now. That's getting fair. Your shield's getting low. Getting pumped off stage. Still have your jump. Still have up beat. Gonna snap to ledge. Down tilt, not too framing. And dash attack. Gonna find it from center stage. And that's going to be game one. But it feels like he's just in the right place, right time. And right now, Chase having to deal with this ledge trap situation. Really lucky. The vacuums weren't lined up perfectly. Getting off that stage. Slowly fighting back on that center stage. I like that B reverse auto reticle. Changing it with the way wow, you're mixing it up. And the parry oh down smash. Kill. got down smash. He's comparing more often and looking more often, you know? It, it, it just feels like Bobby has been like, okay, I know when he's gonna try to hit me. I know when he's gonna trick, like, 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 do it. I know when. Oh, and just like that, again, we see it cause the Kalos Monty stage. Oh my as god. We see again, yeah. trying to get back to stage and gets punished for it. This is a great stage pick for Monty. Oh, 100%. But right now, oh my gosh, Chase going out deep for that back and trying to give him the shield bash right there, but. Now, question becomes, how do you lock him at ledge? Hold up, doing a great job of it for the moment, but not quite getting the stock. Oh, never mind, I take it back. Throwing a hitbox out. It's so scary to actually contest that <gasps> space, but F to Perry, gonna kill center stage. And this is a weird spot. Nice like the stall, change your timing with that bucket, and oh. that's gonna be a hard punish, right? Dash tack, super good. And oh, Dash, we're going to game five. And Chase. This bracket, how do you get through? You don't when he's got the goldfish and the whirlwinds coming through. Hold up, maybe we're gonna see a down smash, not dash attack, almost killing. Hold up, Chase, can you live for a second longer or is Monty gonna take this stock? I mean, he just keeps going, he just keeps going. He really he does. Every Go back to us. Oh, you're, you're dead, dead. you're that's dead. It. That's it right Send there. Send him out of here. Again, in the end, though, Monty would defeat Chase in a close Game 5 set, moving on back into Grand Finals and eliminating Chase at third place. It was now time for Monty to face Louis Money once again. And if you think this set will be a simple win for Louis Money like Winner's Finals was, buckle up, because this set proved to be quite the roller coaster. Day with wins over Chase, over Sen. Bro has been cooking it up. Can he go ahead? And close. It's been one stock and he's already privy to these teleport cancels. Air dodge in. Nice. Finding that opening. Nice DI out. Doesn't get the follow up. And reversal with the key is going to kill. Move in. You're scared to fight. And that's a problem when you're in Palutena. you got to be confident. And oh, that's going to be the stock. Barry, 132. Up smack. Barry now. If Louis isn't confident and he messes up his space and messes up his timing and gets perfect shield and it's a little too obvious with these back airs like he's been doing. <gasps> the raw call out. The Drift. raw call out with the torch. It's hard to figure out, especially <gasps> just like that. You're at close to the Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, it's it? one, but a little bit more precise, a little oh. bit more that user. That was killed at 60. Yeah, I mean, it was from spot, right? And it is also Oh, that watch. definitely kills. That definitely kills. Sweet 98 is a scary percentage one. For a game to watch, you hit by one of these strong <gasps> bears. That's it. Not sure what that up, not sure what that down smash was. Not. Oh, oh, parry. You uh, parried that? You went for, Armoring. you had the cojones? Armoring through the bomb and- Gonna get a little of the stage back. Try to go for some time of Tomahawk. Doesn't overextend against Monty's up smash. And <laughs> uses the platform assist with the fair bombs. That's the thing is that move comes out relatively fast, but doesn't have a hitbox up until it lands. But that, that, I feel like the position so far this game in terms of roles and how they've been playing. Not <laughs> yeah, dash back. Yeah, yeah, Holy, yeah. that was a so Come weird. Here. Come here. I Damage. And then that there, oh, and then that, and then there will kill Luis. What? Luis? Damage is racking up, and maybe a down smash from a parry can do it. And that's oh. not gonna. You said it's not going to, but look, that deep sea diver helmet bringing it into that game four. That was Luis. Coming out, explain oh, that. You're and dead. That will be dead, Monty. Ninety-nine percent. That's a large lead. Can Louis Money close out right now, or will Monty? Pull off the insane comeback. A little bit. That's a good start. You want to get him up in the air. A little bit more. Oh, that was so Dude. scary. So scary coming out of Louis's corner. Not a place you want to be. No, he, he missed the ledge jump. Want to go? Oh, but no. It's a back air. That, that, will, be it. that will be Louis it. Money lives. He wins back in blood seven. NorCal over SoCal. And we see the in the end, Monty won grands in a 3-0, and then lost the reset in a 3-1, with Louis Money becoming your champion of Back in Blood 7, and with Monty taking second place. 
Something I find interesting about this tournament, which I couldn't mention at the beginning lest I spoil these sets, was that nearly every single set in the top 8 was a kind of sweep. The only set I covered today in the top 8 that went to a game 5 was Losers Finals with Chase vs Monty. Additionally, the sets in top 8 that weren't top 4, those being winners semis, losers eighths and quarters, were all 3 0s. This tournament had fierce competition from all sides, and with just a shift or two in bracket luck, I could have seen anyone in the top 4 take the whole thing. But these sets and this bracket was a bloodbath slaughterhouse, fitting for back in Blood 7. That's going to be it for today's video. Real quick shout out to my patrons Seth Laster and Fire Scroll 333, as well as my YouTube members Storm Troyper, Local Soko, and Mattoon. Just a reminder that if you want to support me using either of these methods, link is in the description. And subscriptions start at just 99 cents per month. Tomorrow, you can expect a video on Indonesia's first ever large tournament, Ace High. Until tomorrow, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so much for watching.